They say it only takes a little faith to move a mountain. Well, good thing a little faith is all I have right now. God, when you choose to leave mountains unmovable, oh, give me the strength. Hi, everybody. How you doing today? My name is Pamela. If you are new, welcome. It is nice to meet you. And if you are returning over and over again to watch my videos, I appreciate you more than you will ever know. Today I have my Walmart beauty box. This is the fall beauty box. And this is something I probably will always get because they tend to give you things that you use anyways. And like they give you razors a lot. And so... As long as you get these, you'll never have to buy a razor. And if you don't know, if you've never heard of the Walmart Beauty Box, these are free. You just pay $5 for shipping, and what you get inside is worth more. This box, I can feel like it's there's some stuff up in here. Are you ready to see what's in? All right, let's get started. So how's everybody doing today? a little madness out there I do gotta say and I'm gonna give you my thoughts my opinion my thoughts on the whole virus that's going around what is it called the coronavirus I'll give you my thoughts about it after we dig into this box okay so I did get an enter or win a hundred dollar gift card like it love it tell us what you think about your Walmart beauty box on the survey so winter wonders is the theme and because there's lipstick up here lets me know that we have makeup which always exciting to get makeup but first I'm gonna open up this I did peek I seen um I don't know if you see Melissa the cheap chick uh, I watch her videos she's who I started watching in the beginning what inspired me to start doing videos but um she opened it and of course like she get, not everybody's getting the same thing in their boxes, so I kind of got an idea of what I was getting, and when she said there's lipstick on the box, it must be makeup, I was like, got excited about it, so I went out and checked my mail last night after my kids went to bed, and um, it wasn't in there, so I knew I should be receiving it today, and I just went and checked the mail, and it was out there. But first, we have dry skin therapy, which I don't know about you, but in the winter time, my skin is so dry, so... This will be nice. Oh, and it comes out really fast. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I really needed this, especially on my feet. Now, I will save you the time. Let me put it on my feet. But you know what? This actually has a, a faint lemon smell to it. and I like lemon. Yeah, I kind of get like a lemon cream. Not just like overpowering lemon like lemon pledge, but lemon cream. So yeah, I like that smell. It's like I want to keep smelling. Just make sure I'm smelling what I'm smelling. But yeah, a faint lemon cream smell. Actually, it smells good and it's not overpowering. It's just very light. I could never lose my sense of smell because I, I'm big on smells. Like I need to be able to smell it and to smell something. Okay. Put this on. No, I might not be able to open this. Okay, next we have Color Club nail polish, and this is totally a color that I will wear. Let's see, I'm gonna have to open it with my shirt. Hopefully, it opens easy. <laughs> my nail. I should have like saved the lotion for last, but of course, I opened it first. By the way, I know this is totally about the Winter Beauty Box, but if you're watching me for the first time, I have a Facebook page. It's called Hauling with Pamela. It's down in the description. You can find promo codes for Amazon over there today. Like right now, right now, there's a 99% off some screen protector for I don't know what kind of phone, but if you go over there and jump over there, they were a penny. I ordered them just because they were a penny. And I will come across somebody that has that. And I think I ordered something else that I got for free. 
I'm not going to open it today, though. I'll wait until I get those covers and then we'll open it together. I did get a free shirt the other day, and I posted it over there, and they canceled it on me. The company canceled my order, and I found it first. Me and two people, I think, on my page got it, and then another big group found out about it, went and got them all, and even mine got canceled, even though I was, like, the first person to get a shirt. So, but then I shared it on the page and one of my friends jumped on it and went and got one and hers didn't cancel. So I was the first one and mine got canceled, but it, it might have been dependent on the color. So I don't know. All right. Next we have Makeup Crew and it has lips on it. So it may, it's probably going to be lipstick, but it's NYX. NYX is a really good product. I have their mascara on right now, and I love this mascara. Absolutely love this mascara. Um, but I believe I got some of this really cheap on Amazon with, I, don't, I think it was just a drop price. I don't think it was a promo code. So I'm totally like jacking this box up, just tearing it up. But it's not. I have little scissors right here. I could be nicely opening it. So, is anybody out there that's watching this a teacher or anybody getting laid off from their job? Anybody's state like going into quarantine? My husband. His or school is Monday. No, Monday. Never mind. His last day for teaching for the next three or four weeks is was Friday. Yesterday. He's off teaching for three weeks to a month. Hopefully not longer. Hopefully this whole thing gets situated. Okay, so we have these colors. And I'm going to try them on because I'm probably going to keep them. I might as well, right? I never have too much lipstick laying around. And it does say matte, soft matte. So this is something I probably will put like chapstick or something over, but let's see. I totally have a mirror down here. I don't know why I didn't get it out. It's right here at my reach. I just keep it down here, just because you never know. So, um, there has been 25 confirmed cases of the virus in Michigan. There's one confirmed actually in Bay County, which is where I used to live. And, um, there's some, there's not any like really close to me. I know my husband's work, there is a confirmed case over there by his work. Um, but there's 25 cases and I can tell you that 90, 98% of the cases have been from people who travel abroad. There's like two Two on the list that haven't traveled internationally, and then there's a few on the list that is unknown whether they traveled or not. They have it. But it's from what I've read and what I've heard, it is a lot like the flu. We all get the flu for elderly and for kids. It's a higher chance, you know, that it could get bad. Just like that. The media likes to scare people. People are totally freaked out right now. It's a low percentage of it being real bad. Uh, you, If you get it, you get it real bad. It's just like catching the flu. Nobody wants to catch the flu. We don't see people acting all crazy. <laughs> but, all right, next item we have Optic White Renewal. And I'm totally about whitener toothpaste. I... If you've watched some of my other videos, I don't know, I didn't show you my other chap or lipstick, did I? I'm jumping ahead here. I don't remember which one I put on. <laughs> I don't remember which one I put on. Is it this one or this one? I 
<laughs> my hands are still kind of slippery. Okay, it was totally this one that I found because I remember it was a little kind of coming off. This one seems a little better. Let me, I'm gonna put this on over top. Oh, it smells kind of good. Yeah, I like these colors. I normally just like, we'll put lipstick in a diaper bag. Anybody else do that? Keep lipstick in a diaper bag. And then when you're out and you're like, hmm, I want to put on lipstick. Because I don't just put on lipstick. Usually just sit around the house. Sometimes I'll put it on to come down here and hang out with you guys. But just because we like to feel pretty, you know. But yeah, I like them. I'll probably wear chapstick over and my lips feel. The second, the one I just put on don't seem to be, make my lips feel as dry as the first one. But the first one absolutely looked like it was dry opening the thing. So I was like, yeah, that's definitely matte. I can just tell by opening the container. Anyways, sorry about that. I'm getting sidetracked. It smells like toothpaste. But this is a whitener. And I don't know. I know I got cards in here. I don't know if they're coupons. Probably not. But sometimes it is nice if they give you coupons. Because if you like it, you got a coupon, you'll go buy it. More up to buy it. They ship those coupons in, but they don't very often. And then these just kind of tell you about the lipsticks. But um, it's not the lipstick that I got. So, just for... Just for looks. Totally excited about that. Um, I did open this now. This is a really pretty color. Look at, I have a nail that popped off. What, well, like, lifted. It lasted a while, though. So, yeah, this color. I think it's a cute color. I'm not mad. I'm not mad that I got makeup. I'm actually really excited that I get a few things of makeup. Because I really need makeup. And now... I really went through and got rid of all my old Expire makeup um, and so I'm basically starting over. I know through the months I have gotten some makeup here and there. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. But um, I still don't have a lot. Deodorant. Degree. Dry spray. Ultra clear. Black and white. Nice little travel size if you, you know, I wouldn't put it in your car for the summer because, you know, bad things can happen. But um, this is good to carry around in the winter if you're cold, if you're, you know, it's a little chilly out and it's not 80 or 90 degrees. Um, but, you know, just to kind of have it around, you never know. Even though it's better to have it in the, in the summer because you got hot and sweaty and you might have to reapply some deodorant. But that's canned. Don't leave it in your car. But travel size of the year, traveling and whatever, it's just nice to have something like that small. You don't have a big bulky can or whatever. So that's nice. But that's what I got in the Walmart Beauty Box. And I just continue to get it because it only costs five dollars for shipping. And if you really look at everything, this right here, at normal price, it covers the box. And I'm sure a bottle of nail polish covers the box. This doesn't tell on the bottom how much this costs, but um, nail polish isn't cheap. We all know that, unless you get it from AliExpress or Wish. Um, and you get it on a, you know, good seller where that you can get it for free with like a dollar or two shipping. Or free shipping on AliExpress and just pay like 83 cents for it or a dollar. But anyways, yeah, so, um, samples are at least a dollar. So, I mean, heck yeah, why not? I'm going to keep it in that beauty box. And still going to keep getting, keep getting excited about it. I haven't got the, um... Macy's Beauty Box in a couple of months. I'm hoping to get that picked back up here pretty soon. Hopefully after school starts back up and my husband is working. But now, um, let's, let's talk about this. Let's totally talk about this virus thing going around. Hang on one second. So, here are my thoughts about it. Okay. Am I 
am I worried or stressed out about what's going on? No. You, you want to know what stresses me out about it? The only thing that stresses me out about it is the way everybody's acting. And I'll tell you why. Because um, my husband had to stop at the grocery store on his way home last night because we didn't have any milk and we needed a few things through the week and we were almost out of toilet paper. So because we know Jesus, we know that we are vaccinated by the blood of Jesus. Christians don't get plagues. Um, and as a plague, if it's something that can pass from person to person and, you know, get really bad and cause a lot of deaths and stuff like that, it is a plague. It takes out a bunch of people. It's a plague. And um, in the Bible, you will see a ton of different times that there's plagues and Christians were never touched by them. In the end times, in Revelation, you will see where there's a plague um, that comes through and destroys people <laughs> and it doesn't touch Christians. And I just totally had a piece about it and I know that Christians will not be touched by this plague. Now, um, we, anyways, let me pick up where I left off. So, Adam had to go to the grocery store last night. He just had to pick up a few things. So we decides to go to Aldi's because that's where we normally shop, especially when we're on a budget. He gets to Aldi's and there's nothing, nothing cleared out like, like a movie. This is kind of frustrating to me because like people like me who trust in Jesus and know that everything is going to be fine. Let me just tell you, if you read the Bible, if you have read the Bible and you read Revelation, this is not going to take out the world. The, the word is already written and things are going to come to pass. Other things are going to happen. This is not going to take the world out. So be still and pray and pray for doctors to find a vaccination. And, you know, the Bible says we need to lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. If you're a little worried about it, put on gloves, lay hands, command it to leave in the name of Jesus. I've back in 2012, depression came over me. I have never had depression a day in my life. Never. And all of a sudden it came upon me and I could not stay awake for more than a couple hours. And then I had to go to bed. I had to go to sleep. And I had a 12 and a nine year old and it was so bad. And I dealt with it for a few days of, of this. And then finally, you know, I heard the Lord say, have Paige lay hands on you and command it to leave. So I did. I said, Paige, come here. And I said, the Lord just told me to have you lay hands on me and command this depression to go away in the name of Jesus. And she did. She laid hands on me and said, I command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. And that depression left me and I've never had it again. I only had it for a few days, but I never want anything like that again. I could not stay awake for more than a couple hours and I had to go to bed. My eyes were heavy. I was exhausted. You know, after a really long day, you're just so exhausted. You cannot wait to climb into bed. That is how I felt, and I felt like that all day long. It was horrible. But she laid hands on me and commanded it to leave, and it was gone. So I have just been through so much with God that um, I don't doubt the word. I don't doubt what he ever says. And so this, when he says that, when he speaks to me and says that Christians don't have anything to worry about when it comes to this, I totally believe him. And so... But it was devastating because my husband needed to go pick up some things. Like, we need a toilet paper. And why is toilet paper the first to go? Why? Why do people feel like they need to stock up for five months of with toilet paper? And then people like me who don't have any and send my husband to the store to grab toilet paper. We can't find any because, I'm sorry, I totally did it. Let me pause and come back. Because um, I'm getting notifications from the app and there, there's a lot of them. Okay, that's better. 
So, um, anyways, my husband gets to Aldi's and there was nothing. There was no fruits and vegetables. There was no meat. There was no toilet paper. There was no canned green beans or corn. Of course, I get a phone call, right? So, I told him just go to, just go to Kroger's. Gets to Kroger's and it's like the same way. We had to get half gallons of half percent milk because that's really all they had. I think they had, he said they had some skim. They had no meat. They had barely anything to pick from. I'm going, what in the world? And we don't stress out about this. We don't stress out because we know Jesus. And please, 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 please do not stress out. I'll pray with you. I will pray with you if you need. I am here. If you need to talk, you can go over on my instant messenger, on my Facebook Calling with Pamela page, and instant message me. I will instant message with you, with you all night. If you need to talk through it, I'm here. You can also find me on Facebook. My name is Pamela Culp, C-U-L-P. So, um, and this message me on there. Any, if you need to chat, I'm here. We can chat. So, um, anyways, um, I posted on Facebook, you know, if anybody needed, you know, a babysitter during this time because schools are shutting down for three to four weeks and people need to go to work. They need to be able to support their family. And, um, you know, some people are like, why are you opening your doors? You know, you're, you're risking bringing it into your home. No, we are vaccinated by the blood of Jesus. Nothing is going to come into our home. Nothing is going to touch it. We are not going to get sick. I already am covered. You know, the Lord already let me know, do not worry. Do not worry. We are not going to get it. Christians are not going to get this. And so, um, it's, it's just, it's scary how everybody's acting. That's, you know, the sickness itself, I'm not worried or scared about. I'm not scared about the financial hurt that it could put on my family because God always takes care and provides. I passed a test years ago and I said it was never a test that I was going to have a pass again. And I think I have talked about it in my past video. I'll do a quick rundown. Um, back in 2012, um, I was in prayer and the Lord told me to quit my job. I had been working at Cracker Barrel for, gosh, I was working there at that time for seven years and the Lord told me to quit my job and I was like, ah, oh, Lord, are you like, is this you? <laughs> and I said, all right, if you ask him, he will give you two or three witnesses. So I said, Lord, if this is you, I need you to give me two or three witnesses confirming that you need me to quit my job. So I did, I had a couple, I think I was listening to Joyce Myers and she gave me a word and I'm like, okay, one. <laughs> it's something, I don't know, I got another one. It was like two and my third one. I went to this church I'd never been to before. Never been to, I went there the first time with my friend Sasha and the pastor was getting ready to start his message and he said, wait a minute, I have a message for somebody before I start. There's somebody out here working a job and God told you to quit. I was like, oh my gosh. I went into Cracker Barrel the next day and put in a four week notice. I think it was a three or four week notice and I, I quit that job. Was I a little stressed out? Yes, because it was the first time that the Lord had ever called me to walk out on faith and I was stressed out. But he showed up. He showed up and paid every single one of my bills. Um, I would have uh, some check show up in the mail or a bill was reduced or I had, had a little bit money left from um, income tax time. That paid it. It was like July. I was um, it getting ready to be 4th of July and my um, family gets together 4th of July. Well, they did. They don't anymore. But... I really wanted to go and I didn't have any gas money and I said Lord please 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 provide a way for me to be able to go and see my family for 4th of July here comes the 3rd of July <laughs> still didn't have it because it's never late right it's never late on the 4th or no it was on the 3rd my friend Kia shows up I, mean, I didn't tell nobody I just said 
Lord, I just need you to show up. I want to listen to my family. So I didn't tell nobody. My friend Kia shows up, who spends time with God and knows him very well. He says, follow me to the gas station. The Lord just put it on my heart to fill your gas tank. So I went and I got my gas tank filled. And I went and I got to spend 4th of July with my family. So um, he's never late. He's always been there, always showed up. He's answered every one of my prayers. Um, the only thing in life that I had asked for, um, you know, as a, a few years ago was I just want to be married and I want to have kids with my husband. And I have that now. So he's really answered every one of my prayers that I've had for a long time. And he gave me a good husband. I have a hard working husband. I mean, we all have our flaws. I have mine and he has his. But overall, he takes really good care of his family and he loves his kids and he he does everything for us. We don't have to worry. He doesn't, he understands that I want to stay home with the kids. As a matter of fact, like around times like this, you know, when people are worrying and scared and blah, 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 like it's good, you know, that I stay home with my kids. I don't have to worry about finding a babysitter because my babysitter maybe would back out because they're afraid. You don't have to worry about that. So, you know, I just, I share testimony with you guys because I just want you guys to know that God can do anything. And if you ask him, he will do anything. And so, but I'm going to get ready and go. I gotta go check on my kids. They have been napping. I don't know how long I've been down here. I have been chatting for a while. So, um, I do have a giveaway going on and it is going to close, I think it's going to close on Monday. I think it's going to close maybe on Monday and I will be mailing it out on Friday because that's when my husband gets paid. So, um, I will put the video down in the link and, um, you can go watch it and enter it. You do have to live in the U.S. so I'm just going to, you know, put that up front. So you can go watch that video but um, and enter it if you'd like to. I think it's just live in the U.S., be 18 years or older, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. But over there you can go see what it is. I'm not going to get into it. This video is long enough. I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy your Saturday. Don't stress out. Message me if you need to. All right, everybody. Have a good day. Bye. They say it only takes a little faith to move. Little faith is all I have, right?